Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this particular video, we will build a form where you can add new input field or remove them anytime. So it is super useful for dynamic forms. So let's jump right in, right? So uh, you can see I'm having a heading which is having a content as dynamic form field. And then after that, we are having a main date. Inside this, we are having this particular uh, ID as the field content. And then inside of this, we are also again having a div whose class is field wrapper. Then inside of it, we are having an input and a button, right? So the input is basically type is text and the placeholder. Then a class is like the class of the button is remove button, right? Like this. And then in the end, we are having a add field button whose ID is add button, right? So let's see how it is looking first. So you can see it, it is looking like this. So when I click on this add field, a new field of input should appear. And when I click on remove, then that particular input field on to which this button is attached, that particular field should get disappeared, right? So this is what we are going to build. Uh, this is having a lot of logic to work, right? So yeah, you will learn a lot about the, how to work with the domain manipulation and how to like uh, do the append work. So let's start the process. So first we will get all the container and add buttons, right? So we will write const field container equals to document dot get element by id bracket inside of this we will write field container right now after that field container is what it is basically the id right here you can see field container now coming forward we will write const add button equals to document dot get element by id now inside of this we will write add button this add button is what this add button is this right great now coming forward we will uh, do that we will uh, make a event listener to this add button right such that uh, whenever you click on this add field a new input field will get appear right so for that what we will do we will write add button dot add event listener bracket inside of this the event is click now after that we will create an arrow function like this and inside of this we will write first what we will do we will create a wrapper right a wrapper div so const wrapper equals to now what we will do we will write document dot create element we will create an element and that element is what div right so yeah now is after that wrapper wrapper dot no i want that whenever this particular div will cr be created right i want to add a class to it so classless dot add add what this particular you can see this particular uh, field wrapper right so yeah we will add this inside the div so let's copy it and paste it here right yeah so whenever new div will create it and it will get a class of field wrapper now we, what it's time to create create a new input right so what we'll do we'll write const new input like this after that document dot uh, create element right we will again create an element that is input what is this input so we are going to create an input field this time right and after that new input uh, basic uh, things like its type so let's give the type as uh, text right after that let's give a placeholder that is new input dot placeholder equals to enter something anything which you want right something like this after this what we will create we will also create a new 
remove button so similarly let's just copy it down and paste it here so rather than this new button we will create a okay uh, we will create a remove button right so yeah remove button like this fine so remove button uh, that is taking the element as like we are creating a but uh, sorry so it is the input right so it is correct its type is basically i think that, that okay a small mistake which i am doing is basically this will be a button right why i have written text i don't know so yeah it's inner text inner text will be what inner text will be remove remove right and uh, after that uh, we will we need to add a class to it right so remove button dot class list dot add now what should be the this remove button this particular class right so we will add that particular class inside of it like this right i hope you got it till now that we have created a wrapper and we have added a class to it after that a in new input field after that a new remove but right so yeah now after that what we will do after that we will basically append the input and button to the wrapper div right so simply just wrapper dot append append right append child basically append child inside of this we will write new input after that a uh, wrapper dot append child and one more thing which one remove button right so uh, we have created the input and the remove button right and that we have appended inside this wrapper got it now coming forward now append the wrapper to the main container right so field container field container is what this right so your main div right this div so we want to like append this particular wrapper inside of that so for that what we will write just simply just simple the main same thing dot append child bracket wrap like this got it yeah so this is done till now now coming forward few more things are also required uh, till uh, that is that when we add nine, sorry now add click listener to the remove button right so for that remove button dot add event listener and when it get clicked in that particular case you do what you do what you uh, may basically remove that particular child right so field dot remove field container dot remove child like this after that inside of this we'll write wrap up got it yeah so we have done things till now just last one thing which is left is that to attach event listener to the existing remove button right so for that what we will do basically uh, we will write document dot query selector query selector all right and uh, inside of this we'll write dot remove button got it after that for each like we want to uh, make the functioning for every button right so for each and button got it and then an arrow and then what we'll do just a curly bracket inside of this we'll write button dot add event listener right and inside of this we will make it like click and then e after that we will write const wrapper equals to e dot target dot parent element right and after that field container dot remove remove what remove child and that is wrapper right yeah 
so like this so i think you got the understanding right that earlier we were doing what we were adding a functionality or the event listener with the add button and later like since we have created lots of uh, remove buttons so for every remove button we are selecting all and applying this particular functionality that is taking the wrapper class and from the parent element and then uh, then removing it right so yeah let's go and see that whether it is working or not so this is our website as you can see here right so let's reload it and if i click on add field because it is not working right now let's see that what the problem occurred Because okay, so there's a small mistake that we have written the wrong spelling of the div class, right? Sorry, ID, right? So let's just copy it from here and then paste it here. Now it should work, I guess. Let's see when we click on add field. Okay, yeah. So it is creating a new field as you can see, right? And you can write whatever you want. And this is the main functionality and it is also having a remove button and when I click on this remove you can see that particular field got disappeared right so it got removed and similarly you can do it with this also you can remove it then add field add field add field like this you can create the dynamic form filling right and you can also attach a remove button by which you can remove that particular field I hope you got the understanding this is the complete code for that right earlier we were adding an event listener to the add button and this is what happening inside of it right it was very easy just need to uh, write it at once by yourself or to read the code and we are adding a what functionality to the remove button right whatever the remove button is created on the main page for every button right so this is all for today's video thank you so much for watching we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye